Hello everyone and welcome back to Schneid's 15. Uh, so we got our fancy dancy bed and set up here. Uh, I had to alter it already because uh, apparently fuel doesn't flow uphill into the uh, tank. So I had to notch this out because I got to the gas station, wasn't thinking, went to fill it up. Couldn't get it anywhere. Um, the truck's ready for paint, obviously. I, was, I woke up at 5.30 this morning and went to take it to uh town or i drove to town in my fiance's place and uh i went to take off and as you can see my pedal here is uh not working this is what's up i replaced this about five years ago genuine mopar cable guys that's what happened. I left at 5.30, went to hammer on the fuel, and the pedal was stiff. I thought it was frozen, so I took it off, or I backed back in the driveway and worked it back and forth, and poured some oil in it and stuff. Figured I would clean it up. Nope, it was snapped. So thankfully, it stopped in the driveway, which was really nice that it didn't leave me stranded on the side of the road. The truck's always been like that, and that's why I'm putting the money into it. But, but the reason for this whole video, guys, I wanted to show uh, show that this thing broke on me this morning. I was on my way to the uh, body shop, like I said, but I'm having a real tough time finding bedsides. I've found one set, I think, and they're in Ohio. So. I'm pretty sure I can go across the border. I'm just looking into all that stuff right now. I haven't done any traveling since COVID. I got both my vaccines and stuff, but I'm still not sure on travel and what I all got to do. I'm just looking into the restrictions. But I found a set over there for like 600 bucks US. Uh, so two of them would be uh, about 750 bucks Canadian plus my duty that I got to pay at the border which is fine, but what I'm looking at is my gas money to go there and stuff, which I'm still only at 700 bucks, because the only place in Canada that has them, they want 950 roughly a piece. They're both different prices, but it averages out to 950 a piece. So once you total that up, that's 1800 plus tax plus shipping, it comes out to $2,400. That's a lot of money for two bedsides, guys. Uh, I could get a used box i've hunted around i've talked to a few guys but they just they all are not not the same like they're good guys some of them but i've either run into a lot of no replies and the guys that do have them i've found certain ones that they say they're a mint box but they're full of filler like you can see the different types of color on them and i i want new bedsides to make this thing straight as an arrow so I'm hunting for them, so I'm looking for guys in the northern states that are uh, my subscribers, if they can help me out at all, if they got any leads to them. I actually posted on classifieds to see if I could actually find where uh, where I could buy, like find a used set that somebody had in their garage for a project that they never pursued or something, and I could actually find a set of uh, bed sides used, well not used, just in stock. So anyways, if you uh, know of anybody that has a set, I'm willing to travel to the States and get them. I just need them and get them welded on. And obviously I'm gonna take the truck to the body shop. I'm just waiting because this cable, Mopar has a national back order on it. I can't get any. There's one dealership in New York and one in Michigan that has the part. And I never even bothered calling them because it's not going to be within my timeline. I'll wait for the back order of a month to get it. But I, in the meantime, I need one now. So I'm on a hunt for a used one. And I think I found one through the grapevine of friends. So I'll get the truck painted, get it up here, get the door handles, get everything back on it and get it cleaned up. Uh, and then I'll take the box down on a trailer separately and then we'll put the box on in my house. But uh, I need the bedsides first. So if you guys can help me out at all, I'd really appreciate that. 